Hey, what's going on there, guys? Corey Smith here, back with CoreFX, bringing you guys another video here on uh, my YouTube page. This video is going to be covering trend trading styles, and if any of you guys follow me and subscribe or follow my Instagram or anything, you know that um, I'm a trend trader. Uh, I trade only in the direction of strong trends, and there's many reasons for this. I'll touch on some of them here, but um, what I'm going to go over here is just a quick little breakdown of the different types of trend trading styles and ways basically to get in on trends and take advantage of their strong moves and kind of ride the wave of profits with these uh, trend trading strategies here. Um, as you guys know, if you've seen my, some of my other stuff, there's a huge edge that you get statistically when it comes to trading in the direction of trends as opposed to not trading in the direction of trends. Um, which is why, as as a trader here um, at CoreFX, I, I teach just specifically trend trading strategies, and that, that's the way I trade as well, because uh, basically there's no reason to not trade in the direction of the trend when automatically you start with a statistical advantage right off the rip when you are trading in the direction of the trend. So as trading is a game of probabilities and statistics, we want to put as many uh, of these probabilities on our side as possible and that all begins with trading in the direction of the trend so I'm gonna go ahead and get started here basically what I wanted to cover is first of all uh, I've covered this in another video before but just to touch back on it um, there are three different ways price moves when it comes to technical analysis and really anything in supply and demand and price um, there's three different things price can do price can either be moving up making higher highs and higher lows price can be moving let me fix this real quick here make this a little thicker so price can be moving up making higher highs higher lows price can be moving down making lower highs and lower lows or price can be moving sideways right so there's three different directions price can be moving when it comes to price moving sideways typically this is a range bound market and this is uh, not going to give very strong moves it's not going to be very predictable um, yeah you could say you could sell when it hits resistance buy when it hits support but sometimes it'll come down to here before reversing and then go past the resistance before reversing and it's all in all just not the best style so the two best ways that we want to take advantage of trading is when price is moving in upward direction from bottom left to top right on the charts or when it's moving in a downward direction from bottom uh, from top left to bottom right um, for one all across trading trading in the direction of the trend is beneficial there's been studies done on stocks forex you name it and they all show that trading in the direction of the trend is statistically putting you an advantage um, but the currency markets are very well known for their strong trending moves and the trends are even better and even stronger and even longer so this is even more so of a reason to adopt trend trading as a forex trader that being said um, in the in the different structures there's two different ways you can trade these trending moves there is um, one method let's say we have an uptrend price is making higher highs coming down to make higher low higher high higher low higher high and one way to enter these trends would be when the higher low is set in an uptrend and we have a pullback it's called price comes up hits sets a higher high and then we have an exhaust exhaustion phase price retraces buyers come back into the market and we get another push higher and we go set another higher high and then what does price do it gets exhausted comes back down sets a new higher low before the buyers come back in and it goes back up so what we want to do with the pullback method is when price makes that strong push higher to set the higher high we then want to enter the market when it comes back to set the lower low on this pullback and there's a few reasons why entering on a pullback would be advantageous for us as traders for one, like I already said, we're, we have an edge going in the direction of the trend. When you're going, when the price is moving up, setting higher highs and higher lows, we want to be buying because that's where the momentum is, that's where the traders are, that's where supply and demand is tilted towards. So, for one, we've got the edge. 
two, we offer a great risk to reward because if we enter here, then we can set our stop loss below this swing and we can set our profit at the prior swing high. So right off the bat, we're given a great risk to reward, depending on the depth of the pullback, but regardless, we're giving a good risk to reward when we enter uh, trades entering with pullbacks. Another reason is they're easy to identify. Um, when you have a pullback, there are a number of different tools in technical analysis that help identify these pullbacks. Uh, I go into them more in detail in my course, but there's Fibonacci retracement levels where you can draw the, the line up from bottom to top and then you get your Fibonacci levels and you see what level it retraces to and if you see price rejecting off that, that could be confluence for you right there that there's a uh, possibility of price reversing and continuing the trend. We have trend lines which are drawn in up trends connecting the higher lows. So if price pulls back to a point it already had pulled back to before, hits this trend line, that can give us an idea that there's a possibility that price goes back up higher. We also have things such as moving averages that will oscillate as price goes up and down and when price pulls back to them, reversion to the mean, uh, another statistical concept we use here in trading, we can see that there's a higher likely chance of price continuing upwards again because it's come back and touched the, the moving average. Um, Aside from that, we also have support and resistance. When it comes up and sets this higher high, we have resistance, which is now broken, becomes support. Price can come back. If it hits it and it's struggling to break below, we can expect price to go higher again based off this prior resistance now turned support level. Right? So there's a number of different technical analysis uh, tools, secondary indicators, um, whatever you want to call it, that can help with um, identifying these areas of pullbacks, getting in at a, at a uh, great risk to reward ratio and jumping in on the trend. It also allows us to enter at wholesale pricing. Basically, um, we're entering at a discounted rate. So if we're in an uptrend and price sells off and then we enter to go long, that is at a cheaper price than if we just bought along this upward move here and just hoped that it would continue higher. When we wait for that retracement, for that pullback to occur, we're getting in at a better price, therefore giving us a better entry and a greater risk to reward like we, we've we covered already. All right, so aside from pullbacks, the other method of entering, um, and, and this is just so you have visually, when you're in the downtrend, it's the same concept. Price is making lower lows, lower highs, and we're entering on rallies, these are called. When price sells off, and then we get a recovery, and price kind of trickles up, then we can roll over and expect it to continue lower in a downtrend. That's going to be um, where we enter is going to be here in a downtrend, and that's going to be in a bear rally. When price is, the bears are in control, the market's moving downward, and then we get a little rally in price after a strong move. This is uh, typically a good place to enter as the same reason as when we get a retracement in an uptrend. Same concept, same theory, just applied to a downtrend. And the, this takes us to the next um, method of entering into a downtrend, and that's going to be with breakouts. So if we have this same trending move, market moving upward, price comes up, sets this higher high, and of course, this is market structure, the, the strong move up, slight retracement, two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back as price is moving up. Um, you know, sometimes we have price come up and it just goes sideways a little bit in a choppy little range, right? We've all seen that before. And then it continues higher. So this method of breakouts could be used really on both market structures, but this right here is ideal. This example right here. It's going to be ideal for a breakout because basically price is moving up strong and uh, there's not enough of a, an exhaustion, there's not enough of a retracement for there to be a pullback. So price just comes up and stalls temporarily and then continues higher, right? And this is within the context of an uptrend. So what we can do to enter with this strategy is when price, let me get rid of this here for a sec, when price is in this uptrend 
and we have a strong push higher within the uptrend and then it stalls and chops around we have now set a resistance level right here at this higher high right so what we do is we wait for price to break this resistance level and then we enter here on the break of resistance and what this does is get us into the market with a strong move up and gives us a good conviction that price is going to continue higher because now this resistance is broken and all the buyers are stepping into the market because they don't want to miss this strong move upward right so um, the benefits with trading breakouts is again there's great risk to reward um, when it breaks out of this area there's typically potential for a strong upward move or downward if we're in a downtrend and also with um, the, reward, the stop loss there's a number of different ways you can do it but if you did it let's say below this high base that it set before the breakout you could have a great risk to reward opportunity here if we have a one to one move of this leg let's say we get a one to one move higher our targets up here we got our stop down there that's a two or three to one risk to reward ratio so again that's a great risk to reward for a trade with these breakouts um, again they're also easy to identify price comes up sets a higher high typically it'll be range bound or even if we get a retracement it'll set a resistance level here and the break of that resistance level is what shows us to enter there's a number of indicators that we can use to trigger this breakout aside from just price breaking the zone we could have a moving average crossover we can have a CCI cross and oversold we could have parabolic SARS broken to the upside um, we can have stochastics overbought we could have a number of different um, indicators to help us identify when these breakouts are occurring and this is another great thing with breakouts is they're, they're relatively easy to identify and again just like pullbacks they're a great way to enter into a long-term trend and kind of try to hop on the bandwagon of the strong move and ride the waves to gain some pretty big wins amidst a trend um, we risk these small stop losses and although we will get stopped out that's that's trading uh, the winners are typically significantly bigger than the losers when you're a trend trader when you're doing it right and um, these methodologies here are what allows us to get in at those better prices because we are using um, these methodologies to enter either at a better price or with more conviction that price is moving higher and we have uh, our, our foot in the door to the trend and to these profits that continue to show us in the markets especially Forex that when you trade in the direction of the trend your chances are higher of success your winners are better chance of being bigger winners and you just have an overall um, better strategy and style when you trade around these trending moves so that being said, I'm going to bring you over to a chart here and try to identify some of what I'm talking about here in the live charts. As you can see here, I've got a chart pulled up, and this is actually a euro dollar chart. Um, this is going to be on the daily time frame. And as you can see, through this entire period here, really all the way to the bottom even, we have strong uptrending moves here with this pair. Um, as you can see even starting down here we have price set this was the resistance right crossed here price came up set a higher high traced rallied again set another higher high retraced rallied again set another higher high little retracement higher high this is a little bit of a sideways move we did have some retracement though higher high sideways move strong higher high little retracement sideways move higher high higher high right after that price did sell off um, as you can see we have a trend trading reversal here we have a reversal of the trend but you can see the structure of this market moving right here as we have a uptrend of a series of higher highs and higher lows being set um, as you can see if we go back in time over here it's not the cleanest but right here you have a downtrend you've got a new lower low made makes a lower high lower low lower high lower low and then we bottomed out and reversed the trend as well there but you can see the structure with both of these different um, trends and as we do here I'm gonna give you a little quick example of what I mean with this so let's say we want to 
really to establish an uptrend we want there to be at least um, one higher high and higher low set I typically like there to be two series of higher highs and higher lows so when price hit this bottom here we made a new high and then a low sorry let me get a cleaner line here we made a new high and then a lower low and then a new high and then a lower low this to me would be confirmation we've got uptrend trend channel we've got a series of higher highs and higher lows being made and we have confirmation this is an uptrend so after this this higher low was made here price then came up broke out and then we had a retracement here this could have been an entry right there for a long position on this pullback as you can see price came hit this this uh, 20 period moving average here this SMA this blue line perfectly hit it we had a spinning top followed by a strong bullish engulfing candle right strong bullish engulfing candle off this pullback within a now uptrend right this pullback these multiple confluences that could have been a good entry we could have entered after the close of this candle set our target here maybe or even a, an extension to a higher high target and we could have been in on the uptrend from there and then depending on how you manage your trades you could have rode this whole uptrend until you got stopped out somewhere along the ride but um it gives you an idea of what i mean when i talk about a pullback we have price coming up to set a higher high, then sells off, and there's temporary, you know, profit taking and exhaustion in the markets after this strong impulsive move, as you can see here. And then we have a little sell off, and then the buyers decide to come back in as it comes back down to retest this prior resistance turn support level, and boom, we pop up again. Comes up, gets exhausted after this move, we have a lot of chop, and in, in equilibrium, this like, Buyers and sellers are coming to agreement on the price. We have a little bit of a retracement down again, and then boom, huge bullish bar. Buyers step back in, explodes higher, and then we stall again. And this continues. So these retracements where price comes back and sells off a little bit from these highs is where we have a great chance to enter the market at a discounted rate, get in at wholesale pricing, and try to ride the trend to um, new higher highs or new lower lows, whatever direction the trend is going, to try to take advantage of these strong moves. And now the other side of things with the breakout strategy, as we had this higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, price then came out, and you could have either played if price broke out of this higher high that it set, we could have had an entry potentially if, if this is one style to trade it, but this is a pretty deep uh, retracement to enter on a breakout of this high, but you could have broken out and entered this breakout of this higher high price came up and then eventually went up even higher or let's say you identified this little area of consolidation you could have then set your entry here break of this high price shoots up higher and then as we come up higher and price gets exhausted again you see we established another resistance level with another support so we got another basing pattern here right so you could have entered again at the break of this high, would have entered right around here, gotten in on this bullish move upward, came back to retest, retraced a little bit, and then continued the uptrend higher. So as you can see, these breakout trades are um, another great way to enter the trend, specifically here at Core Effects, the way I trade. Um, pullbacks are going to be my main trading style. Those are the setups that I look at, uh, you know, intraday throughout the week. And then you have the breakouts I trade around volatility. So I will only trade the breakout method when I identify a key event during the week that I know is going to bring uh, volatility and strong movement to the markets. So when I identify this, I then um, can set a trade for a breakout and try to catch this strong move higher. Uh, I've only trade the breakouts around strong news events and strong uh, volatility because there tends to be a lot of false breakouts just throughout intraday trading if I take it down to hourly charts a little bit too noisy regardless with uh, the chopping all over but if you look at the hourly chart if we can take it down a little bit here as you can see there's a lot of these spikes higher that it immediately reverse you see, we have a, this was trending, but we have 
you know, all these wicks all in here. This broke out and then came back down. We have this wick here that then failed to break out. There's just a lot of noise when you want to trade these breakouts. Um, not around volatility. There's a lot of false breaks. There's a lot of times where you think it's breaking out and it passes your, your trigger point, but quickly reverses then right against your position. And um, trading around news events of volatility, I have realized, sets a much better uh, expectation and much better results for catching these breakouts because a lot of times there could be manipulation or something in there where price breaks out and then immediately reverses or there's just not enough liquidity and strong movers can can kind of uh, have an influence on price or so and so but um, around news events there's so much volatility and liquidity that typically when these breakouts occur there's significant follow-through as there's a lot of people trading there's a lot of uh, transactions being made and a lot of eyes on that level so when that level is broken it typically has some follow-through don't get me wrong there are a lot of times even trading the news when um, I'll have a level broken and then it'll whips all right back and stop me out and it'll be a false breakout but nonetheless I, ha I have had more success doing it around these events um, there's no there's no getting around losses in trading that's just the easier you can accept that the easier trading will be for you the sooner you can come to the terms that um, you are not going to be right all the time and you got to just play the market not don't be want to be right just just want to make money and play the markets and if if you can accept this and get on board with this then everything's going to be a lot easier for you so um, that's what I've identified with these breakouts uh, yes I do get stopped out pretty often but my winners are much bigger than when I do get stopped out so I have a statistical edge and that's why I trade breakouts around news pullbacks I look for throughout the day because they're, they're a great way entering the trends very small risks with a great reward opportunity and um, basically there's no uh, limit to the profits you can make on a, on a trend trading trade but you always limit your stops with your, your losses with your stops so uh, it's great methodology great way to approach the markets especially for beginners it puts you on the right side to begin with um, if, if you're trading against the trend you're basically putting yourself automatically at odds if you look at back at this chart like to be selling in this market there's a very limited number of areas you could have been doing it in that would have made you money because look how many more green candles there are than red and look at how the size difference of the candles look at these candles and these candles and these candles and these candles and then look at the reds tiny 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 you see so to be a seller in an uptrend doesn't make much sense I mean okay if you break it down to a 15 minute chart and you're selling key levels or whatever against the trend and that kind of time period that's fine that's not what I'm talking about there's people that make money off that and that's great for you but for me and for what I recommend for people just taking this this uh, profession on put yourself at at a better chance of succeeding off the bat there's no reason to start already behind why would you want to start a game with the team leading in points you know like the, there's just no reason to do that and the more factors you can put in your favor when it comes to trading the more successful you are going to be and the more the higher your chances are of success um, thank you very much for tuning in again guys appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch these videos uh, again this is Corey Smith CoreFX CoreFXTrading.com is the website Core.FX the Instagram like and subscribe here on YouTube if you like what you see uh, I really appreciate it um, thank you guys again for taking the time and I'll see you next time